This morning, as we come to a time of offering, we have to remember that what we give is not about us, and it's not even about the church. It is about what we are called to do to serve others. So I invite you this morning to give in a way that will allow us to help others. We work with a homeless church quite often. We're feeding them on the Sunday, um, excuse me, on the Monday uh, after Martin Luther King Day. So I think that may be the last Sunday of the month. Um, and if any of you all want to come down and help serve, I tell you, you will be blessed more in going to that service and helping than you would if you, than the people that we're serving. It's, it is amazing to go. But first, I want to talk a little bit about weddings. Weddings, it doesn't matter who plans it, it doesn't matter who's doing it, whether it's your best friend's mother, sister on her father's side, or if it's a professional wedding planner, something's going to go wrong. Every wedding I've ever performed or been a part of, something has gone wrong. Um, and those are the things people remember. When my sister got married, my son was about three. And he, they wanted him to be the ring bearer, and I said, are you sure? He's three years old. Are you really sure you want to do that? And she said, they said, yes, we want to do that. Okay. So he did real well. He walked up the aisle. He had the rings. Well, this was in Perry, Oklahoma. And in Perry, Oklahoma, a train goes through every 15 to 20 minutes. And Nick loves trains. He's 23 now, and he still loves trains. So 20 minutes into the service, guess what? We hear a train in the background. And all of a sudden, my three-year-old, Daddy, a train! A train! <laughs> and that's what my sister remembers about her wedding. <laughs> But something is going to go wrong. Well, today we're going to be talking about a wedding at Cana. Not that anything would go wrong with your wedding. This is all going to go off without a hitch. Yeah, John, I like <laughs> But the wedding at Cana, they had a problem. They ran out of wine. And that's not something you do. So I wanted you to hear these scriptures before uh, she plays the offertory. Hear these words from the Gospel of John. Three days later, there was a wedding in the village of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. Jesus and his disciples were also guests. When they started running low on wine at the wedding banquet, Jesus' mother told him, they're about to run out of wine. And Jesus said, is that any of our business, mother? Yours or mine? It isn't my time. Don't push me. So she went over to one of the stewards anyway and told the servants, whatever he tells you to do, do it. There were six stoneware water pots there used by the Jews for ritual washings, each with 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus ordered the servants to fill the pots with water, and they filled them to the brim. Now fill your pitchers and take them to the toast, Jesus said. And they did. When the host tasted the water that had become wine, he didn't, the host didn't know what had happened, but the servants, of course, knew. He called out to the bridegroom, everybody I know brings out their finest wines after the guests have had their fill. They bring out the cheap stuff. But you saved the best until now. This act in Cana of Galilee was the first sign Jesus gave. The first glimpse of his glory. And his disciples believed in him. The word of the Lord for the people of God. Thanks to God.
I'll do it. I'll do it for you.